But then you say, I'm really high empathy levels. Mm -hmm. And then you get mad at me when I say that you have low empathy levels. Yeah, I understand. That's because people like you don't understand what empathy means or people like, okay, stop. No. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Hold on, wait. I got triggered because you were phrasing something aggressively, but I'm not going to phrase my response aggressively. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me, give me a second. Okay. I said that I could be wrong. No, no, no. You're just, you're phrasing this very aggressively, but that's okay. I'm going to be the bigger person. Okay. Okay. Oftentimes when people say um, they want somebody to be empathetic towards them, that's not really what they mean. What they mean is, I want that person to agree with me. And oftentimes when people say, I feel like you're not being very empathetic towards me, what they mean to say is, I will never change the way that I moderate my community for you. Hey, that I was know. not, I okay. know you're so scared of looking like a simp. Thank no! you. No! Thank you for the Stop. You're, okay. You are, <laughs> if you're gonna call me a simp, I'm gonna call you a, the B I word. Do you understand? So, Lav, do you feel like yeah. Mr. Girl is gonna come back to this community abandoning his morals? I think he's going to abandon his morals. I I think ju he's just in a like emotional place right now. And I also mm -hmm. think that with time, honestly, mm -hmm. I trust that Steven will also uh, come around oh. to what Max has said. Uh, oh, so you think absolutely Steven is going to Absolutely not. Whoa! Yeah, I don't know. Wait, Round. What do you Steve. wait? What are what are your biggest grievances with what he said? Like, what are what are the biggest things that you disagree with? Uh, the idea that I need to take some like employer employee relationship with the people that hang out in my community is that yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't necessarily agree with that. Okay. Um, well, not necessarily. Part? Hold on. No, careful. But, wait, I'm, careful. I'm, hold on. Wait, I'm just real quick. We're just to be aware. It feels like we're about to enter a lab cycle where you said something very extreme and now you're going to walk it back to nothing, but I'm, I'm yep. here with you. As I'm you on know, the journey. Snake. I'm wait, on the train with wait, you. Go ahead. What did I say? What did I say that was extreme? Well, I think the employer-employee relationship was one of the biggest things that Max was pushing for that I disagree with, and you were making it sound like I would agree with that, but maybe not. What was another point of what Max said that you think I'll come around on? I'm curious. Um, I, I, I just think that with, um, <laughs> I, I think that together. I, listen. Mm -hmm. We're listening. I don't want to speak for Max, actually, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she just did. If I speak, I am big trouble. I prefer not to speak. <laughs> well, I, I also, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I think that he can speak for himself. I think that um, I, obviously there are things that I agree with with him. I think that uh, I think that this is this is my read, Stephen, of you, and I could be wrong, but I think that when you say that you're an empathetic person, I think that you really can understand how someone feels, and like because you're very smart. Um, but I don't think that you like. Uh, I don't think that you're in the in definitionally empathy is like when you feel something that someone else feels, right? So I think that you're smart enough to understand how someone feels, but I don't think that you really feel it with them. So when a friend is coming to you, sure, and saying, but like, what is the this, yeah? What's the point of this distinction? Because when a friend is coming to you and is like is begging is begging you to be more empathetic to them, you're saying, okay, I understand why you feel this way. I just don't care. Yeah, so oftentimes when people are asking but, for empathy- But then you say, I'm really high empathy levels. Mm -hmm. And then you get mad at me when I say that you have low empathy levels. Yeah, I understand. That's because people like you don't understand what empathy means or people like, okay, stop. No. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry, hold on, wait. I got triggered because you were phrasing something aggressively, but I'm not gonna phrase my response aggressively. I'm sorry, okay, let me, give me a second, okay. I said that I could be wrong. No, 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 you just, you're phrasing this very aggressively, but that's okay. I'm gonna be the bigger person, okay? okay. Oftentimes when people say um, they want somebody to be empathetic towards them, that's not really what they mean. What they mean is, I want that person to agree with me. And oftentimes when people say, I feel like you're not being very empathetic towards me, what they mean to say is, I feel like you don't agree with me. I can be very empathetic. I believe I can explain Max and your situation very precisely with a high level of, oh, he understands, but I don't agree. And I feel like sometimes when people say that I don't agree with them, they mistake that for thinking I don't understand how they're feeling. That's my issue. Okay, um, I, I can see how I can see how you see it that way. Um, I think that, I at least for me, what I, uh, speaking only for myself, what I really wanted to hear from you is like, fuck, that sucks. I'll be like, maybe more on guard about it. I mean, ultimately you did literally exactly what I wanted, which is like, you cracked down on like more ironic misogyny. Like, hold on, to be clear, is wait, wait, this isn't, okay, hold on. I need you to understand something, okay? Very, very, very clearly, okay? I will never change the way that I moderate my community for you, okay? If you're giving me brownie points for that, you think I'm sure. better for you? I'm not, okay? No, 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 thing, I don't, no, I'm, I don't no, I just want to be clear, I wasn't doing funny. that to make you have like, oh, well, Lav would be so much happier. Okay, yeah, that was I know. not, I know okay. you're so scared of looking like a simp. Thank no! you for, thank you for the stop! You're, okay, 
You are. <laughs> if you're gonna call me a simp, I'm gonna call you a, the B I word. Do you understand? I didn't. Bitch. I didn't bitch. Call, dude. That's what he was gonna call okay, you. Okay, don't call now. me a simp. Because I will call you a B word, okay? I'll call you the I C word. I wasn't calling okay. you a simp. I don't know why you're so scared of that word. It's a little, it's a little strange, a little telling. Why are you so scared of bitch? But I'm, I'm not that scared of bitch. I was scared. The way that you said it took me a little bit by su surprise. Okay, the way that you just said simp, you're essentially discrediting everything I'm saying. Okay, I. <laughs> okay, I'm not discrediting anything you're saying. You're <laughs> minimizing. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Where were we? I'm now my now my brain. No, I'm just saying that like that I I've always been like on guard for misogynistic things in my community. Sure. There are always things that I'm like actively like, looking at and trying to change and over time and blah blah sure. blah blah. It's not like oh my god, sure. Lav would be so happy if I did this and let me change this. Sure, Sorry. No, but that's not what I want. So this is how in relationships for your friends or your colleagues even to feel like understood when they bring you a grievance. You don't even have to necessarily agree with it, but the empathetic response would be like, "Fuck, that really sucks." Um, like, I can't really do anything for you. Here's what I can do. Like, uh, listen, it's probably only going to take a couple days for this to blow over. Try not to freak out too much about it. I never heard you say that to Max. And obviously you don't need Why to, you like right? This? You don't need to. But when you're trying to foster, like, healthy, empathetic communication with your friend, I think that's what Max probably would have wanted to not, like, spiral out of control. It's certainly what I would have wanted. Even if it, you don't, like, even if you don't uh, follow our advice, it's just nice for you to, especially in front of the audience, be like, fuck, I think I actually can understand that. So your audience doesn't think that we're also at odds. When Steven is literally going and saying to him, like, hey, you just gotta chill, dude. Like, it sucks that you feels like you fucking can't type on the sub. It sucks that you fucking feel like you can't defend yourself. Just chill, and then, like, over time, things will get back to normal. When he's saying that, what do you think he's fucking doing? Do you think he's just, like... I, I, what, do you, what, do you think, what do you think he's doing when he's talking Wait, to him? I no, I never, no, I never heard that. So, basically, what Steven what does is he, he like... Uh, Steven's like a debater, right? So he's like, no, none of this is happening, and I don't care what you think, uh, and, uh... Hold on, Lev. Wait, but wait, wait just be careful. Wait, mean... hold on. Wait, also, Lev, be careful that you don't talk about things that you're totally clueless about. I've never said that. Of course I see what's happening, and of course I know what's happening. There's a lot of people typing bad shit about the sub, and now we got banned so we can't even defend. I know it's happening. I've never denied that. Okay, just saying. Okay, go ahead. Just sure, but, uh, of, but uh, how, empathy but, doesn't mean yes manning people necessarily either, right? Like, what you're talking no, about... No, I, like, I don't think that's what I explained. Well, you said that really sucks. I understand. And then you basically said maybe if you had done some of that, I mean, like, hey, just take a break, then maybe he wouldn't have like spiraled out of control. But it's like, first of all, like the fact that he spiraled out of control is exclusively and only on him. That's his yeah. emotions and his responsibility. And yes, to I some think extent, that's true, but I, I also I don't know if you responsibility to foster healthy and I don't I don't know if you'll have to always say like yes, man, to other people's feelings, right? So if somebody feels like I'm really, really afraid of this thing, and as the friend you're looking at this and you're like, this is actually a pretty disproportionate response. There is some space where you can be like, hey, I understand that you're feeling that way, but just so you know, like. I don't, I don't know if how you're feeling about it is as accurate to like what's actually going on. Like you don't always have to be yes manning. Yeah, I think that's what I, I think that's what I just explained. Like you don't even need to see it the same way as him or really change anything. I just think that like the communication is like really important, especially with someone like Max who like is very emotional and like will not, like you're not going to get anywhere unless you're at least not validating his worldview, but validating his emotions. And that's just like the trick of the trade with people like Max. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not here for it. I don't, like, that's just not something that I ever care to do. Sure. No, exactly. And so you got mad at me when I said this to Max, though, because I was like, I, Steven's not going to take care of you. He's not going to do this to Because you. the way that you phrase things is incredibly one-sided. <laughs> no, here, let me, let me, let me, allow me to, allow me to, let, let me, let me show you, okay? Let me help you, okay? Let me demonstrate. There are two ways that I can phrase something, okay? Here we go, Okay. Um, I don't think that you should be friends with Sam because it seems like you need a certain level of like emotional care or emotional support that Sam is either unwilling or unable to provide. So you should find somebody different. I don't think your relationship with That's, Sam is helping. That's one way mm. I could say it. This is what you said, okay? I'm not gonna teach Sam how to treat me like a normal human. I'm not gonna teach him how to treat me politely or respectfully. That's what you were saying. In the first one, it sounds no, like, do you want to watch the clip? Do you want us to load the clip and we can all watch it together and then we can sure. see what... It's, okay, yeah, somebody, can somebody good. link me the streamable, I think it's about 45 or 50 seconds, where um, Lab is talking about like, I'm not going to teach Steven how to, Steven how to treat me. Um, no, I want to see that on streamable. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a five minute conversation. No, we're going to watch the six second clip and we can we can go from there. We can watch the longer thing no, and you think it'll change without it. Without context, you're like, yeah. There's no, you don't need more context. Also, when I originally brought this up, you said you only talked about me for like one minute. Now you're saying there's a five minute context thing or... 
yes, of course there's context because he's talking about how he feels and then I'm giving a prescription. I'm saying, hey, Max, you can't hold Steven to this expectation. He doesn't have to take care of you and he doesn't want to take care of you. I think that's a very normal thing to say. That wasn't throwing you under the bus. That was just being very realistic. I was saying, Max, I think you need to let go of this expectation. Okay, well, we'll wait for the, uh, okay, hold on. We'll watch this. Maybe my maybe my brain is poisoned. I'm post. How do I post this in the side chat? Uh, right click the little thingy. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. <laughs> right click. <laughs> over. See where, you you hover, hover over where it says Destiny's Room. And there's a little. Oh, great! There. Now it opened that for the entire stream to see, and now there's a poop frog. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for leaking that to the entire fucking stream. <laughs> That's not a poop frog. Oh, okay. that could have been a lot. I'm, I'm posting a DG. I don't care. There you go. This is for sure. Is this a mud frog? I don't know. Okay, I'm muting you guys for a sec. We're gonna watch it. That's why. That's why it's more. Uh, this is why I talked about the difference in inflection between you making a boundary for yourself and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that. Uh, like, I'm ready for Steven to like never um, act differently. And in that case, if we have a conversation and he still doesn't understand me, I'm like fully ready to like never stream with him again. Um, like I don't want I don't want him to change, but I I hope this I hope I hope it will change. Wait, why wouldn't you want him to change? Uh, because I'm less interested in um, like teaching him how to treat me, and more interested in having relationships with people who already know how to respect me. I feel like I and that's why that's why so your last comment was i'm less interested in teaching how to treat me and more interested in having relations with people that respect me kind of makes it sound like i'm disrespectful i think that's like the easy takeaway there yeah i meant like respect the way that i've like the way that i, I communicate the, the things that i need the things that i needed a friendship that's like a very normal statement the the implication is that i'm disrespectful no, you're also take you you're also taking a clip like less than 30 seconds out of something that was a bigger conversation. So you're like, yeah, without context, sure. But with context, it it absolutely what I'm saying is like not questionable. Okay. Okay. You're weasley. You know that. No, right? I'm not weasley. Stop saying that. I'm not if weasley. I, if I was to poll chat and say, are you Weasley? What do you think the results would be? Oh, what do you Well, like but that's not going to determine if somebody actually is on. Weasley or not, right? In fact, it is the reason. The public perception of someone is what is. I, I think okay. what happens, I've noticed you and Max do a really similar thing that I think people all uh -oh. find like Weasley, essentially. Uh -oh. Which is that like, mm -hmm. when, when you're making a statement and somebody's kind of holding you to it or somebody's holding you to something that they think was wrong or offensive or something, it's like, the, the level of analysis is like, it's like a fractal, it's like infinitely complex. And there's like always higher levels of complexity that can be achieved. But then a lot of times when like you're shooting from the hip and like you're saying like things that offend other people and then they like call you on it, it, it becomes like suddenly way more simple. Um, and so uh, it's like- Well, I think that maybe Max does that. I don't think that I do that. Uh, well, the first part, I do agree that I do do that. And I talked about that in my how I feel video. I think that that's a response to trauma is over clarification um at least in my case and i was talking to max about this i think that we both grew up with like narcissistic moms who are like constantly trying to explicate our actions and trying to see like basically like malignancy in our behavior um which like i think kind of conditions you to be like uh I, like i think one of my biggest fears and one of max's biggest fears is not having control of our narrative and being misunderstood so when someone says something that I don't agree with, I will over clarify because I it's not because I'm trying to evade like accountability. I'll take accountability when I when I say something that's fucked up. What I'm trying to do is like clarify, like, no, that's not what I meant. And there are like there are levels to it. I think that maybe our I think that maybe our, our thought processes aren't just like um, like as like one one road as maybe the normal person. And I don't I don't think that that it makes us evasive. I think that that's just a, like a, I think that's a maladaptive behavior, surely. But I don't think that there's like intent behind it to like confuse you or be evasive. 
I guess functionally the way it plays out is it often does confuse people. It feels incredibly evasive. And then when we're like trying to hold you being like, like I shouldn't say we, because this doesn't have to do with me, but like when Steven's being like, hey, this is what you said, how it sounded. When there's like infinite nev- levels of like why you didn't really mean it that way and how there's like other things going on, and like kind of like getting into st- especially like kind of the like psycho jar- jargon and stuff. It just, it functionally feels evasive and it feels sometimes dismissive. And it feels like you're not taking like the actual like um, issue at hand seriously. You're being like, there's all these a million reasons for why this issue is occurring, and people are like, I don't really care. The issue is still occurring. Sure, I, and I think that when you uh, when you simplify it like that, that's like one of the reasons why Ooh. I feel sort of uncomfortable in the debate space, at least like right now, right? And I think that that's why Max. Uh, I don't think Max is really a debater either. I think that he's an artist, right? Um, so I, th- this is why I'm like, okay, part of me really like wants to fix this, right? Because it, it will make me more effective communicator, but also like I've conditioned myself to, to talk like this for 24 years. So I don't know, I don't even know what, like that I'm doing it and I don't know how to put it all on the table so that I don't have to go back and clarify. Like I'm, uh, I think that that's like just anxiety. Like, I don't think that that's me being purposely evasive, but I understand that it looks the same. Yeah, I just I don't know what at this point to do. Yeah. To okay. Wait. Hold on. Let me hold on. <laughs> Erudite. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> the problem is, let's shift away from like the. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be vulnerable with you, Lav. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. hold space for you. Thank you. Okay. Don't minimize or any of the other side things. Okay. All right. The problem <laughs> isn't from a rational debate lord point of view of like. Well, when you say this particular thing, it becomes hard to catch you on the logical fallacies and the inconsistencies, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the, this is the reason why I used, um, and I know you didn't watch the clip, um, and I think you and Max get super triggered, but I'm okay with that. This is why I use the term abusive when I describe like the style of conversation is because mm-hmm. this is what happens, okay? What happens is, is both of you have a tendency to say things that invoke or evoke very strong feelings from other people. Um, in this case, it might be somebody like me. It evokes a super strong feeling. And then when I go to criticize you for this thing, I say, hey, you said this particular thing. It seems really fucked up and it made me feel this way. Well, now that there's like 50 million different like fractal lenses that we can use to view the statements, in effect, and I know it's not the, it might not be the intention, but in effect, mm-hmm. you're essentially claiming that the other person is crazy. You're crazy for feeling that way. I didn't even remotely mean that. And when you've gone through that cycle like three or four times, where it's like you said this thing and it made me feel this way and like i didn't actually say that thing at all your interpretation is wrong at some point you start to wonder like why the fuck am i i don't even know if i should be feeling bad about the things they're saying because every single time i confront them i'm like this really did make me feel bad but like apparently i'm misunderstanding every single thing that's being said and i'm just not getting it yeah. and now i'm like that's like the that's the effect i think that comes out of the end where it's like yeah yeah that's the that's the frustrating part for the yeah if it was just like debate things over like oh well you know there's an interpretation of a term differently or whatever then it'd be one thing but i think it's the fact that it makes people feel a certain way and then when you come back you're like oh no 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 well that's it was this and this is like okay fuck i guess my feelings are kind of invalid i think that's like the issue yeah Sure, sure. And I, I can understand how that could be very exhausting. Um, I've, I've obviously, I mean, this is, this is not the first time I've had this feedback, right? Like I have, <laughs> like I have a partner I've been with for three years. Obviously, this is something that we've dealt with. I'm sure, I mean, you can see that he's dealt with this with Shaylin also and like the videos that he's made. This is just like how we communicate. And I think it comes from a place of like deep insecurity because when you're like, um, when you're socially isolated, especially from your family and you're like kind of scapegoated, Uh, and you feel like you grew up evil or there's something malignant inside of you, that's like what you're functioning off of like constantly. So then also in the conversation, when you say, this is Darvo, this is abusive, then it just fucking amps up. And then he's in complete defensive mode and I'm in complete defensive mode. And then I'm doing anything to be like, no, 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 no. I swear I'm not a bad person. I swear I'm not a bad person. Cause we've had to convince ourselves that we're not bad people for the majority of our life. So yeah, I, I understand, I understand what you're like saying there. Behavior. Yeah, I understand what you're saying there. But the only issue is that when other feelings are involved, it's gonna be oh, very, yeah. very, very hard for me totally. or for anybody else. Yeah, to be like, okay, well, I understand you're traumatized like this. So let my feelings take a back seat. And even though you're totally. like, yeah, you're upsetting me, but I'm gonna try to take care of both of our feelings. That's a huge huge ask for people, I think, yeah. Or yeah, at least for me. no, I, I, yeah, I agree with you. I think that that is a huge ask. I, I don't think that me and, I don't think that me and Max are like easy people to talk to by any means. I think that if you took a bit of time to like understand our communication style, 
you could potentially get somewhere but also you like you don't owe us that like you don't but owe us that yeah i don't think i don't think anybody change, would want right? to like that's like a like, that's a huge ask i think for most people you're describing to... yeah you're describing kind of like a toxic interpersonal style and saying like this is just like us like this is kind of something mm-hmm. and it's like what you're describing this like self-loathing of like you're pretty sure there's like something super fucked like you're kind of a piece of shit but also you don't want anyone to know and also maybe you're not a piece of shit maybe people have convinced you it's like i understand why like at all times when like criticisms are coming you're like playing the deflection game because mm-hmm. fuck if everyone convinces you again that you're a monster like you're fucked you're mind fucked because you've been yeah, fighting totally. so hard so I, I totally get that the issue is like i, I i'm i totally get that because i've like i've been there and the problem is that like when i was in my most like self-loathing phase i was the worst to everyone around me. Like totally. a lot of times when we talk about self-loathing, we were like romanticize it to like this sad girl who's just like, I wish I was beautiful. And she's actually like a nine <laughs> out of 10 without makeup on and everyone's yeah. like, you are beautiful. But that's not actually self-loathing. Self-loathing is like constantly be on the defense, being kind of irresponsible with your words, never taking good accountability because you can't take yeah. accountability because you admit that you fucked up there and you admit that like you were kind of just being a bad person here, then that means you're a bad person everywhere. And that's really fucking scary. And yeah. I really, I really, really sympathize with that because I, I walked through that like personally, but like it basically almost killed my marriage. And like the only totally. way that I figured this out was by being like, maybe I, I am just a little bit broken and maybe I am a lot. And that's not okay, but there's something that I can probably do about it. And no one's responsible for it but me. But God, I'm so grateful for people being patient. But yeah. everything, the rest is on me. It's my fault that I'm communicating poorly. It's my fault that I'm trying to avoid responsibility. It's it's my fault that I'm shooting from the hip and like not being careful with my words. And like when I yes. do these things, I am being a shitty person, but that doesn't mean I am holistically a piece of shit. And I have to like try to fight this, but yeah, yeah. I, well, in my I, I, I totally, I totally, yeah, I totally agree with you. I think that that's what I've tried to do. I think it's a little harder because I'm also allotted a lot more um, space for that than Max is because he's a man and because he's in his, his almost forties. Right. Wait, hold on. To be clear, you're allotted a lot more space by me because you're young. There's nothing to do with you being a woman. If you were in your thirties and doing this, <laughs> I'd be roasting you yeah, every sure. fucking day, well, hardcore. Sure. Okay. Well, well, sure. No, but I, I also think that women are allowed to be more emotional than men are. I think that's oh just true. God. Do you disagree with that, Dan? Go ahead. Uh, I got something more important. Than that. <laughs> there he goes. Right See you later, buddy. Hold on. No, hold on. Look at this. What? I got something good I'm working on in the oven for you. Oh, my God. I think this is an important conversation, though. Jesus. Um, yeah, it because can I, be. I, I, I do think that that's just true. And, and Wait, I what's just true? That, like, like I, I think it's just true that it, like it is like we are like obviously the um, determiners of our own destiny. <laughs> he, <Huh>. um, <laughs> uh, but I, I also think that it's hard to do in like real time. <clears throat> so I'm sure that Max like knows that he's like I'm sure that he'll like rewatch his thing and be like fuck I could have done that better. But then now you have, I don't like, know. Do, it seems right? like he's like pretty consistently held to like the most combative style of communication. He's like, also he's also in like a dark place right now. He's not at his best. Well, but he's, he's been not. communicating like this for like fucking thirteen years or fifteen years, right? Sure. So I think this is the thing. Like when when you have, there are people who are just more fragile than other people. There are, um, and this is people who should go to therapy, right? Because you need. I mean, my therapist tells me all the time. She like two weeks ago had this conversation where she was like, uh, you're like a world championship justifier. And I was like, fuck, that like hurt. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, that like hurts. Um, but you need, what what someone like me, speaking only for myself needs is someone to like sternly tell me what I'm doing and that maybe the way that I see it uh, is, is fine and valid the way that I see it, but not necessarily healthy for me. Um, it, which takes a lot of patience, which I'm not owed, right? Okay. So when you enter a space like this, when you enter a space like this, it's like stra- It's a little more strange to navigate for people like me and Max than it is for someone like you. And that's fine. If people want to be patient and stick with us, they can. And if you don't, I get it. Real um, quick, Pixie, I saw that you were in here and I was really curious of like uh, your, I, I mean, I guess your thoughts on this in general here, because you're kind of back, you're in the debate sphere, you're, you know, you're throwing your weight around. I can see that uh, with some of these new orbiters, letting them know who you are, what you're about. So uh, yeah, what are your thoughts real quick? Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm back in the debates here, but I just want to, like, Lav, um, from what I've seen, like, you and Max, like, the mentions of, like, your mom's, like, I pretty, I can relate pretty hard. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom 
Um, at the very least, my therapist and psychiatrist said she has very strong NPD tendencies. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, I don't know if it'll help you, but maybe it will, is that when it comes to like interactions like growing up um, and even still now, um, I would think like, okay, how would my mom respond to this? And I would just do the exact opposite, right? Like, I don't, I don't know if you can like relate to this, but haven't been, there have been times where your mom is talking about or like, you know, using you as a scapegoat or hurting you. And when you try to bring it up, you know, she turns it on its head and now you're the bad one or she makes all these excuses and you're like, well, fuck, like, I just wanted her to like accept what's happening, right? So sure. I don't know if that'll help you navigate other relationships, but just think for a second, like, hey, like, what would I have wanted at this moment if it was like me trying to communicate I, with my mom, you know? Yeah, I, I think that that's I think that that's good advice. Um, the only problem is that like, I wish it was that easy, like hurt people hurt people. It's why we see cycles of abuse. Um, you're not going to necessarily in the moment even realize what you're doing. I talked about this in the video that I just posted recently um, about how my mom used to like laugh at me when I cried. Like when I used to like, she'd walk in on me cutting myself and she'd laugh at me. And it was like, it, it was like, uh, it was horrifying. It's like, it's like evil. And then I turned into adult, an adult, got into a fight with my roommate. He started crying because I made him feel like shit. And then I started laughing at him. Thank God I caught it. Thank God I caught it. But the, what was used on me, the psychological torture, you're like conditioned to unfortunately use on other people and you have to be aware of it. It doesn't excuse it by, by any means, but it's not as easy as just being like, oh, what would my mom do? Especially when you're so emotionally volatile, you're not thinking about like, oh fuck, what patterns am I, am I exhibiting? Maybe afterwards, right? Um, but by then the damage has already been done because if you're in a volatile place, you're, you're not necessarily thinking that way. Yeah, I don't know if, like you said, uh, I'm trying to, know how to explain this. Like I've been basically through very, very similar experiences, and I understand like you know maybe environmental factors, genetic factors leads to people processing differently. Um, and I'm guessing at the moment that you feel so emotional, you never think to remove yourself of the situation, right? You're just acting on pure impulse. Mm -hmm. So she's okay. emotional, basically. Good. Well, well, yeah, good like, it's more than that. Thank she's you. like, she's like traumatized. She's got like the classic, Beyond like, the, emotions. Uh, the undiagnosable mm -hmm. of like childhood fucked up. Now I kind of fucked up syndrome, right? Where it's just mm -hmm. like, yeah, like the, I, when you're, when yeah. your childhood is super fucked, you don't have like one single like mental health thing that we could categorize nicely. What you have is like a bunch of like compensatory behaviors and defense patterns and like a whole bunch of things that you did to survive and function in your childhood that don't function in adulthood. I just like, I don't know what to do, Lav, because I fully deeply understand this and I would never recommend doing this on a public platform. Because like totally. I've gone through a lot of this shit, like not the same level, not as extreme and stuff, but like I'm so glad I didn't have to do any myself work on the public platform because holy fuck, like, Oh, I can't, I can't even imagine. Um, yeah, and so like it, that, that's the space we're trying weird. to like balance. It's like, I have grace for what you're outlining and I have like grace for the behavior, which is why like, I really like you. Like I don't have any like issues between you and I, but I don't I do. know how to navigate the spa the fact that like, this is happening on a public platform as well, which means that like, there's people hearing what you're saying when you say like harsh things or when you like are basically like, uh, doing kind of like playing the defense game and stuff that like hear this and it's like actively distressing for them as a viewer as well, right? Like you've got like a whole extra dynamic at play, like or person in the room, which is like the viewer essentially. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know the answer. And, and, and I, it doesn't matter. I don't need to give you the answer. That's like for you to come up with. Obviously, yeah. I, I mean, I think that, I, I think that I've already implemented some things. I, I mean, uh, if anything, I think I'm good at taking feedback, maybe not implementing it constantly at, at all moments. I think that, I think that uh, from right. now, now from two months ago, I, I do think is substantially different. Um, Hold on. And I also, sorry. Oh, sorry. I need to quick. I have to butt in here. I just got okay. some breaking news. Pixie? Yeah? I don't know how to say this, but there is an enemy from long lost time <laughs> that has just risen once again. And he and has a bone to pick with you in the way that you think you can just mosey back into his territory. I, uh, I don't know what to say, but except that you are now in the mind wave zone. Why are you doing oh this? Oh my god. 
whatever Pixie just told you is full of shit, all right? Uh, she's actually just trying to hold you down, love. You gotta just be your most unhinged self, okay? That's where the views are at. That's where the content is, okay? Don't let her lie to you. Pixie does a lot of lying that you've seen in the past, right? Mindwave's like gaslighting, kind of making you think the yeah, debate's going she, one way, turning Pixie the audience look, against you. Look. Pixie does not like when other women win, okay? She's the only woman that could win, all right? Like a, that, like in a her pick mind. me, a pick me type of girl, basically. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's why I, I didn't invite her to the podcast, dude. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't invite other women when she was on my podcast. <laughs> Wait, did you see that a lot? I know she's laughing, but that was like a real problem with her, is that she'd be kind of aggressive to the other women on the show. <gasps> yeah, she oh scared God. them away all the time. Wait, no, I know you guys are memeing, but now I feel like I'm being gaslit into believing that's like this really happened. So I don't know if you guys are the real gaslighters here or like what's going on. No, it's all true, Pixie. Um, I am the most toxic person on the platform by far. I can agree to that. And I'm doing the work to be even worse. <laughs> okay. Face, <laughs> it's I hard, guess. hard to imagine, I, I guess, brave. in my way's mind. It's brave and beautiful. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, wait, I'm going to be real. D Lob, mm -hmm. do you actually even have any real content? Like, all, all I know from you is that, like, you just, like, either have beef with somebody else or, like, you you just, like, coom post on Twitter. Like, I, I don't know if oh you actually God. have any, like, real Twitter. Coming in or, strong. Like, real strong. I don't know. Do you have any, real like, real Twitch content? Like, uh, I... I, so I I'm new. I'm new to Twitch, uh, but I have a, a following of uh, like, uh, well, it was 700,000 uh, followers on TikTok where I make like, um, like basically like social discourse content. Uh, so yeah, I do have. Nobody's a talking about TikTok, love. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, okay, hold on. Wait. To be fair, <laughs> social discourse content. Seven hundred thousand followers on TikTok is bigger than all of you motherfuckers in here. So I don't know how you can say that. Okay, calm down, Jesus. Don't make me. I don't. I don't have a TikTok. Yeah, I'm so big. I'm so big on TikTok that I've I've made a uh, Stephen go viral twice now. Um, uh -huh, that's my like TikTok making you go viral, but nice try. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, please stop laughing. Yeah. We're trying to destroy so, yeah, you. I do, Thank you. I do. I do have content. Um, it's not like I don't have like a like a resume on Twitch right now, but I will. All right, bet. I, I just okay. want to see. Oh, look, I want to see you more active, making your own content on Twitch. Like actually contributing something to the discourse instead of just like i don't know crying about it. other people's takes i don't know i i have never cried about anyone else's takes <laughs> i don't do reaction content like whatsoever so what you mean whole you're are you just being a victim right you're no. you come you come in here and all you've been doing is reacting to like max and like destiny's beef but like let's I'm not, not a good look. To it. I'm, you I'm, are. I'm, I'm friends with both of them. I feel like I'm. Uh, I'm. She's participating. I'm, uh, oh I'm, yeah, right, right, right. Participating in it. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Um, uh, do you okay. feel like you have to defend Max because you guys share like similar pasts? Like, do you feel like that's just like where the instinct comes from? I think I really understand Max. Uh, unfortunately for me. Uh. <laughs> uh yeah, I think that I'm, I've said this before, I feel like I'm, uh, yeah, I understand Steven, and I understand Max, but they can't understand each other sometimes, and sometimes I feel like I- Stop, really, that is, you're like so this. far from reality, it is, my, my asshole is I making diamonds with coal right now, I feel oh my like god. understanding, I understanding Max isn't the thing, I would say, like, I feel like Steven has a pretty good understanding of Max, like, I, I feel like there's lots of people in this space who understand Max to some extent. The I issue is, know. like, there's something there's especially going on for you. I, I, I don't know. There was, I mean, when we talked, uh, like, a week ago, you didn't even know what he was asking for when I told you, like, why he didn't... Like, I, why I didn't he, say me. I didn't say me. I said Steven. No, I was, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was talking to... I was talking... I was looking at Steven talking. I know <laughs> no. at all points of time exactly <laughs> what he's asking for. There's a reason why I was the max interpreter in the community and probably still am. I know what he's asking for, of course. Yeah, I mean, but you're emotionally cleaved on. Like, there's, like, you kind of say, like, I'm codependent and I like it, but it feels a little bit more like you Whoa, understand him and you like. I think no. What happened was empathize. both of them felt traumatized like, by online like, interactions, and now they're like, oh my god, we're like the same person because we both had this experience. I think that's the extent of what's happened. Um, no, I care about Max. I think that he's going through a hard time. Yeah, I don't. I don't see you didn't care about him. But in terms yeah, of, because like I, you keep I, saying I, that like you two are similar, you're not. You're you're not similar at all. I, I, like, well, but you say that because I you both have had like relatively like bad experiences recently with online stuff. 
in in actions i think that we're different but i think that the feelings are like very similar i think that the insecurity no. is the same no um do you ever I feel like you can't think of anything go ahead it's okay um <laughs> Do you feel like you might be, by any chance, enabling Max's behavior, or Max might be enabling your behavior in a sort of way? No, I think that, um, no. I think that I've had, uh, on his hotline, I very clearly told him that, um, I don't agree with his actions, but I also, I don't think that I can exact my will on him, so I told him what I thought he could do differently, and, uh, he... I, ultimately, he did. He was like, yeah, I think that I'm going to have to leave the, the space for a second. So I think that was a good choice for him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Pixie probably, shot the fuck down, right, Dan? Probably not. No, okay, wise, fine. Right? I can keep talking, but I just feel like I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. Did you hear that? <laughs> like, you just got yeah. absolutely destroyed. Like, Oh, my God. Okay. Um, if you want to leave, question. no one's going to judge you. Oh, I... Okay. Um... I have a question. When you come on here and you're talking about like, oh, how Max is feeling, what Max is thinking, um, what do you feel like you're trying to accomplish? Uh, I think to some extent, I well, like obviously, I I look at the um, the subreddit, right? I see that people are characterizing him or mischaracterizing him, and they're being like unfair to him, um, and you know, treat people how you want to be treated. To some extent, I hope people would do this for me, right? When I've been uh, how I feel uncare, you know, characterized, misrepresented. Um, so I think that one, I think that I could potentially humanize Max for people who don't understand him or who don't, you know, whatever. I think that's one thing. And then um, another thing, if Max watches this, at least he feels like someone's in his court, which I think is really important for for people in general to feel like someone's in your court. Okay. In what ways do you feel like people are being unfair to him specifically? Can you give me specific examples or do you feel like you think the subreddit as a whole, like how are they conveying something that's unfair? Like what is unfair exactly? Um, I think that, I mean, you can, uh, we can go through uh, the Reddit and, and read posts about him, but they're like, he's a narcissistic abuser snake, like things that are like a crazy thing to hear right like a crazy um that's like uh, that's like crazy like these parasocial uh relationships that are like diagnosing max basically and then also discrediting him as an artist and a professional who um, did that who did that but i think that i think that max uh did the behaviors but then it was like taken away from him which is the nature of the internet so just to clarify, you don't think Max has displayed any narcissistic, abusive, or snaky tendencies? Oh, Lab um, is a snake. That's, that's, not, that's not for me to say. I'm not a professional, and I don't think anyone else is either. We've also seen him. We don't see him in his day-to-day. -day. Uh, well, no one's claiming to be a professional. People are just remarking about their reactions to what they saw online. Sure, but you don't understand. Like, There's gravity to a diagnosis, especially when someone is like, like well, what do you mean? I don't think anyone's like officially diagnosing him. I think people are just saying like, oh, from what I've seen about this content, this is impression he's giving me. I don't think anyone's being like, ah, yes, I am a psychiatrist who is diagnosing Max with the NPD. Yeah, it's also possible to act narcissistic without being like suffering from narcissistic like personality disorders, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I think that that's true. But I also think it's still hard for someone like max who feels really misunderstood and like i said earlier when you think that y when you think that you are evil or bad on the inside and then you know people say all these things about you like it feels like shit well yeah it does feel like shit i'm not disagreeing with that but the original question is do you think that he has displayed any of those tendencies mm -hmm. right because like that's what people are reacting to and that's why people are like writing it down um no, I don't. I okay. think that I've seen. I think that I've seen someone who is very anxious and uh, wants to over clarify um, in an attempt to self soothe. Uh, I don't think that he's tried to confuse anyone on purpose or tried to run circles around them for any malintent. I, I see someone who like really deeply wants to be understood and keeps fucking up. 
Okay, but can you see how somebody, even though they have all these qualities, like they're just anxious, they're trying to self-soothe, et cetera, et cetera, can still display those problematic behaviors outlined before? Like just because they're doing it for those reasons doesn't necessarily make their actions sure. less narcissistic sure. or less whatever. Sure, but this is also the internet. So rarely do we humanize people who has the behaviors that Max has. And I think that's a big part of his platform is humanizing even people who are like seen as abusers, right? The second you put like an abuser label on someone, a narcissistic label on someone, they're completely discredited. You think that they're, they're you can, they can't come back from that. And I think that with my platform also, and what I seek to do is to humanize someone that you think is like unhumanizable. Um, and I, I think that a lot of you guys especially Steven, has, has been in this sphere for so long and so used to people making him a villain that he might forget what it feels like to be thrown into the fire when you're first villainized. And it feels like shit, and I think that we should avoid that. I don't, I don't think that that should be something that we just get with the internet. Like a, like a truth of the internet that's like, fucked, like, okay, whatever, uh, your narrative is taken from you completely. Dehumanization and extremism is like totally fine. Yeah, see, here, I understand. I understand everything you're saying, but here's like the issue: is that it feels like, and I know you feel like this isn't what's happening, but I think from the outset it starts to feel like a responsibility evasion by using this humanize, 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 sure. humanize. Because what Pixie is essentially getting at is th this is this is like the conversation that's happening. This is the mismatch. Pixie's saying is like, isn't this person kind of being an asshole? And then you're saying, well, no, but here's why they're being an asshole. So you're kind of saying that like, well, they're not they're not really like this, but this is the reason why they're like this. And what Pixie's saying is like, okay, but then we can agree that they're like this. And then it feels like saying, well, but we forget what it's like to humanize someone and this is why they're like this. And I think that's like the uh -huh. issue because at some point, like there might be, re again, like somebody might get abused as a child and then rape a kid when they grow up. But like, that doesn't mean that we're like, okay with it, right? And it doesn't mean that the person doesn't need to change. And like, I think yeah. It's it's super important to also mention, like, when do you bring up trauma? Because if traumas only and like past history is only getting brought up and regularly, typically brought up when a criticism is levied, that seems to be more like falling into excuse land than like taking accountability. Well, I don't think he does that at all. I think he's made count. I think he's made a ton of. No, she's not saying that he does that. She's saying that you're doing that yeah, for him. You. Yeah, for oh, him. I, um, I think. Like, I agree with your analysis in some part about Max. I think like there's a lot of entitlement that goes on as well. The issue is sure. that all of these traumas don't necessarily excuse the fact that sure. he does really shitty things. And he's totally like, I, and I and I think that there's a space for feedback, right? Like I think all of what you guys are saying is true. I think that I am I'm having to run defense for Max because you guys are so hard on him, especially like Dan, especially Steven in some ways. Like, I feel like I, I have okay, to- Okay, I just want to be really clear, and okay? And I understand that you guys will never agree with me and that's fine and you're welcome to explore other spaces on the internet. But in terms of like decent size-ish people on the internet that aren't just trying to fuck you, I will give people more of a fair shake than anybody else totally. will ever I run agree. into. Okay, I know, but I when agree. like, if you're, if you're I'm just saying that anytime a statement is like, well, he didn't really get a fair shake from Steven, it is much more likely that the other person is being extremely egregiously in the wrong that, that I'm just being like really uncharitable. Because I think I've expended totally. an ungodly amount of charity to I everybody thought, yeah, involved totally. in this situation. Okay, well, you're saying agree. totally agreeing with me now, but this, you're, this stands back. in direct contradiction yeah. to what you just said. So I'm just saying. Sure. I've also I've also I've seen you especially run defense for Max to Dan. I'm mostly talking about you know people who come in and they're like fuck Max like Abba who's like fuck Max whatever. Uh, you know that's like I'm having to I feel like I have to overcorrect. There are certainly criticisms I have of Max that I just don't think are appropriate when he's not here and all of you guys are also criticizing him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not here to well to Dan is here to stir shit so. Oh, yeah, I haven't criticized them at all. I've simply asked questions. That's it. <laughs> to get other uh, people to stir shit about it. <laughs> well, they stir questions. They want to do it. Like, if you give some people a platform, they're going to hang themselves. That's it. And I'm just asking questions, and you guys are the ones doing it. So I haven't said anything negative about Max. I just think it's curious how you're acting in this situation. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 just, I think this is Jew on Jew crime. Jesus. I feel like Max has like made the bed that he lays on, and Jesus. like he keeps on trying to like point fingers at everyone else as to like why, like, People in the space. How would you don't diagnose like him that, that Kyla? What, what, I'm what not diagnosing him. I know, I know but like, if you thought there was a certain symptom that might like that that's fall no, into, that's what I mean. like well, a that's particular what, disease this, or so this ailment, is what I mean. like, like you're that like that more kind of, you're trying to discredit him to the audience. Like, it's think about the people who like who act like Max in their real lives, and then they're hearing you say all this shit about his maladaptive behaviors, like villainizing him. I think that's absolutely. 
it's not villainizing, but there's some element of accountability. And to be honest, Max doesn't take much accountability, right? He like basically like the meme of the guy shooting at thing and then being like, why would destiny do this to me? It's like actually so true. Like it's kind of cringe. So it's like, no, like the reality is if I met a person on the street and they coped as hard as Max does and like avoided responsibility as hard as he does and blames everyone else for things. Yeah, I, like they probably, they probably wouldn't feel bad. They'd probably just call me a bitch and like move on. But like, yeah, sorry. like, the, yeah. like if agree. they feel bad as a viewer because they're doing all of these toxic behaviors, there's no moment like you should feel bad. Like, like letting somebody feel bad for doing shitty things isn't the same thing as villainizing them. Villainizing them would be me be saying like, nothing Max does is ever good. He has no quality. He's not redeemable. Yeah. He'll never be redeemable. And he's worth just wholly dismissing as a human being. And he's actually a subhuman piece of garbage. That would be villainizing. And that like Ooh. every way I talk about him and address him, I just attack, attack, attack. I can't even acknowledge that he does good art. I just got a fucking hate on him because he's this now like, he's become objectified as my, my source of hate. That's not really what's going on though. There's just very legitimate criticisms to be had. Yeah, I think in this space, but the audience is like a whole different beast, right? And then when you're someone who like really cares about like public perception, like Max, an, inse an insecure person like me, like Max, you're really reading into that. And then you start to think that, you know, it could be anyone else's fault. Like, I mean, the same way that I was like, I was like, Stephen, how could you say, how could you bring up Darvo? Even though he saw it that way, I was like, I was like, fuck. Now, you know, now it's, now it's like another beast. Like it's out of my hands, it's out of Steven's control. It's like this whole other thing. So then, then comes like, then comes the very delicate dance of being a mentally ill person online, right? Get and online, I don't, genuinely. Yeah, I wish Max would just take a month, no, go to I think, therapy, I think that's chill out for a little bit. Unfair. I think that's no, entirely unfair. You, you can't say, I'm going to act like an asshole. I'm going to wage war on a subreddit. Then when people are really mean, I'm going to spiral <laughs> even more and get natural consequences for my behavior. But hey, I've got a lot of past trauma. Should I really have all these consequences? It's like, no, of course you should. This is the bed that you made. There's no one to blame but yourself. If it's too much, that's fair. It's fucking rough. Go get therapy. Genuinely turn off the screen for a little bit. Sure, and, uh, but I think that you can also get therapy and show progress. Uh, like while also, this is this is the online world. This is the internet. You're gone for a month. You don't fucking exist anymore. That's just true. So it's your. This is his passion. This is his art. This is his life. And you you want to uh, take that, or you wish that he would take that away from himself because it's also his undoing. I just I I understand what you're saying. Obviously, it would probably be the healthier option, but that's like not how people work. Yeah, but that's um, fine. But the problem is you have to keep in mind every time you make a statement about this, like, well, this is his thing. This is how people work. This is blah, 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 blah. There's an, there's another person that's never talked about on the other end of that transaction. And those are the people that are being hurt by his actions, which I think just kind of gets swept under the rug because, like, well, he's abused. Well, he's traumatized. Well, he's blah, 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 which I think is I kind was of one weird. of those people. I was one of those people. First of all, I nothing that has I nothing to do with what I just said. But yeah. Sphere, no, if you remember how I came into I do sphere, remember how. That's why I get triggered when you say, oh, he understands me so much, but you're so harsh. I trust me. I do remember. <laughs> no, it's because it's it's because, listen, I don't think that everyone is going to have patience for Max and they don't need to. Right. He is going to put himself in self-harm situations. This is literally why I told him, listen, you have to surround yourself with people who validate you, who who give you what you need in a, in a relationship. I don't think that this space necessarily is healthy for him to keep himself in it. Right. Sometimes I feel that way with me also, but I'm making the choice to fuck. If I have to be there, then I'm going to try to fucking, you know, f sink or sink or swim. Right. I don't I don't know if he's there, but I, I just think that it's I, I don't want to infantilize him. I also really appreciate him in this space. I think that for the first time I saw someone who was like me that made me feel less bad about being the way that I was in a way that I hadn't seen before. So I think he's really, really valuable. Maybe he's not the most valuable person, but he definitely has a niche. And that's, I think, why so many people connect with him. Um, so I don't, I don't agree with this whole, I don't know. I, I, I think that he should stay online. I think that he should, he should keep making his art and then he should surround himself with people who want to understand him or give him patience maybe more than he deserves or the space that he the space that he needs and that doesn't have to be you by any means but i think that i don't i don't think that he's an immovable object right like i think in the conversation that i've had with him he did take accountability he was like you know he bites a lot of bullets he's like yeah i don't he's he's humble and he's he, he shows humility when he's in a one-on-one -on -one conversation you guys also have to understand when you come into a fucking 
uh, a seven a seven person call you're also not going to be at your fucking best when every time you enter 60 people are telling you exactly what you do i think everybody in here knows that you don't have to keep saying that like we're a bunch of normies all of us i think every single person in here has been dogpiled in rooms before i don't think anybody here doesn't know what that feels like can you just uh, really just like Mac? I don't think the audience say, that it's like, like this empath bullshit, dude. Like you had none of this same care for Cherry at all, and it's Ooh. like you're like so like ah, oh, dude. You guys gotta understand this person, whatever. It's like you you it just say you like him, dog. It's fine. You like Max. You like Max. He's your friend, and you want to you want to kiss him. Bully or whatever. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Right. Just say that. Don't do this weird. I'm a fucking empath. I understand him. I know his backstory. It's so fucking cringe, dude. First I, of all, first of all, I I have done that with Cherry. If you if you saw the videos that I post about Cherry, I was like, okay, I get it. She's sick. It makes me fucking mad. I can't. Be I around. get it. She's sick. I, I, I know, dude. This is I don't like this. Bit. He's weaponizing the uh, that I wanted to comment on this. Like I feel like this is again weaponizing something personal about her against her on a very public platform um like in a we way all that do she, to each other? Uh, well she did yeah. she she hasn't like used that really as an excuse right like it, like she accepts it as part of herself but she's never used it as an excuse for actions right. what i know but what i'm talking about this was my problem with cherry my problem with cherry was that her analysis of my behavior was like steeped in someone who uh, thought that someone in the, that everyone in the world was out to get them, right? And then villainized me and whatever. I don't have oh, to yeah, like. I don't have to like Cherry, and I don't have to interact with her. You don't anymore. have to like I her, and you don't her. have to interact with her. But I you, don't. but I just think it's kind of low for you to be using like the BPD <sighs> stuff against her. I, I think that maybe you're right. I shouldn't have made that tweet. Obviously, Kyla, you know, told, uh, we've talked about that. The I shouldn't have made the tweet like whatever. I'm mentally ill, but at least it's not BPD. Um, <laughs> Sorry, not funny. But uh, yeah, there's certainly places that I've messed up. That's yeah. not the only oh, tweet that you've referenced BPD in reference to Cherry, though, is it? Uh oh. Uh yeah, it is. Uh oh. Wait, was the was the was the one from like yesterday not in reference to Cherry or? Wait, what? What did or I? Or was that just a every random woman BPD you tweet? With has BPD. Yeah. Yeah. No, that wasn't about Cherry. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Can you at least admit that it, or, or do you see that how it could come across that way to to everybody else? Literally, no, not at all. Just the mention of BPD. How the fuck? No. When you've been beefing with this person actively, using BPD yes. to weaponize against it's not them? The only, I've used it once against her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was it was a while ago. I haven't even I haven't even talked to Cherry or about her in probably weeks two weeks um i think that it is very clear that that tweet is about discrediting women that you don't agree with and saying that they're just mentally ill if you don't agree with them i think you think that but i think it's very obvious that um it doesn't always come across that way uh in this sphere when you have like actively been beefing with somebody you could say it's been like a week but like uh. no the tweet itself i think is very clearly people got it like people commented on that and said that it was like a, it was like a way to like discredit like an ex-girl it's like the new crazy ex-girlfriend thing like oh i don't have to look at like anything that she's saying is true because she's sick which i think Did, we're all guilty of didn't you recently tweet about how she blocked you or something recent like with I, less than I a week ago her. i blocked her and i told people i don't want to talk about her anymore and yet okay she was so then you have been talking about her and beefing with her. That's the same shit. Wow. No, Come I on. have not been beefing with her. I've tried very... Uh, Look, whether or not you not think it's beefing, no, I'm, I'm telling you, it comes across that no, way. You're taking my narrative away from me. We're not beefing. People are posting screenshots of things that she said about me in my Discord, and I've, I've ignored it. I have not reawoken any beef, and I just said I blocked her. Do not talk to me about her. That is the extent of the situation. So there's, there's like a pattern, though, that I, I do notice um, where uh, in the same way that you give Max an excuse for certain actions because of his past, in, this, in that same way that you're like kind of using um, that history uh, in favor of him, you there is a pattern now of, of you also using somebody's history against them, right? Very personal history. No, so I think that there's a difference here also. I think that Max is uh, very, like, self-implosion, right? I think that he does things where he, like, confuses people in, in conversations, and that could be seen as potentially abusive. I think that um, falsely accusing someone of harassment in my morals, in my moral framework, 
is just like can, you cannot come back from that i don't give a fuck um like i'm i maybe in a year i'll feel differently and also there's a very personal element to this where like cherry wrote me like a an essay basically on what was like an apology to me and then two days later gets back on twitter and like just fucking recants all of it so i'm like okay what the fuck ever i even w got on stream at one point and was like she sent me something that, she, that was very mature i'm not ready to like be nice to her yet i'm not ready to make nice but i appreciate what she sent me and then days later she was talking shit about me and mischaracterizing me again because maybe i didn't answer her in the right amount of time it, this is like there's a personal element here that i again don't want to bring up on stream because i think this drama is stupid and petty we can just not like each other but it is such a different scenario with Max and me than I mean, it is with Perry. I would no, agree with that. Like, well, even it, even yeah. Lava said that yeah. like you don't have to have empathy for everyone. Like she's already outlined that yes. she like is willing to have a unique amount of it. And I think it's reasonable yeah. to basically say like there are some people that you can have like more grace for than other people. Like to be honest, Max was a person I had like pretty high levels of grace for for a lot longer than like other people in the space who like just wanted to call him a pedo like right from the get go and blah 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 blah. So like I, I think that's actually fair for love to say like i can have empathy for max but i struggle to have maybe as much empathy sure. for cherry I, I think that i think that's not really what, what i was trying to say i guess it's just like using something that seemed pretty personal in a public manner against somebody whether like, you use it in, against them or in favor I like of them, the bpd right? thing so, i, yeah. like, I, I think you're like, right i think i shouldn't have done that and that was extremely rude I mean, if you're just gonna go into a call and be like, yeah, I feel like on my streams, I like to humanize like these abuser people and do all this stuff. I feel like Steven does a good job with, with people he even hates, like Bosch. He can empathize and humanize this fucking moron, right? And he does a good job at it, I think, still, even though you know, he hates him. But I feel like when you go ahead and you go talk about like Cherry, you're like, ah, you're just fucking retarded, fucking moron monkey. And I don't just, think I've dehumanized her. Ah, okay. I When you start to use somebody's mental illness against them, though, it feels a little dehumanizing, right? Um, like they're not a person her. capable of having their own agency that like every uh, every single bit of their behavior is explained by their that. mental illness I, I just think it's there's an interesting juxtaposition where you use one person's mental uh, illness in favor of them to kind of like have more empathy for them and I use think that also, another I think person's mental illness to I haven't spoken uh, about well, I'm, I'm not characterizing an to make her to, to completely discredit her. I said, this is the way she sees it. it. I don't fuck with it. Okay, so I, I hadn't I even gotten there. You I hadn't even gotten there. You talk about the topics that she goes on on stream. You talk about her age. You talk about, like, we want to go, like... <laughs> what? I talk about... I talk, talk I said, about her yeah, I hope, I hope at your age. Yeah. Doing what you're doing. Yeah, because yeah, you're... No, I think what I was trying to say is that there's an interesting um, contrast uh, between how you how you talk about mental illness for two different people. Um, that's all I was saying. I talk about mental illness the same way. If you go into the tweets that I have about Cherry, I'm actually like very understanding of it. Perhaps there's an air of like a, you know, condescension, condescension under it because yeah. I'm mad, because I'm mad at Cherry, obviously. I did also, I did this with Max. <laughs> I have a bad pattern of doing this. I should work on it. Um, I will work on it. Uh, but <laughs> no, I, it's I, like, I should, I, but I won't. I ah, to <laughs> characterize to characterize that, that I like didn't also humanize her while I was denigrating her, essentially, uh, strange because I did. Can we get Cherry how can you in here denigrate to somebody? Friends? How can you denigrate somebody and humanize them at the same time? Uh, because very carefully. Denigrate, well, maybe I, I I criticized her very harshly, but also was like, I get it. Like, if this is how she sees it, that's how she fucking sees it. It's it's a. Uh, it's, you can it's criticize awesome. somebody without degrading them, right? Fucking that's, the, yeah. that's two different yeah, things. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, but you didn't. Yeah. You did. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, what are we talking about? Hold on. Wait. What are we talking about? Hold on. Wait. Let's be clear about what we're talking about. No, who cares about degrading people? It's, there's nothing wrong with like necessarily degrading somebody yeah. or being mean to somebody or criticizing. Wait, I don't know what we're like. If I say like you're no, being a fucking moron, you're. You're so stupid when you do that. That's like degrading somebody. But like, well, yeah, but you can't say that you're humanizing somebody while you're simultaneously degrading somebody. You can humanize some. Okay, this is okay. So here's first of all, I think the word dehumanize is incredibly fucking vague. Okay, so in the context of this conversation, it sounds like when you guys are saying dehumanize, you're using that as a proxy for remove agency from. So for example, saying like, oh, this person is a failure because she has BPD. She's not going to amount to anything. In a way, you're removing their agency to ever do anything worthwhile as a human because of their disease. You're you're 
framing their entire life through that disease. You're saying that's all they ever are. They can't be anything more. And that's a form of quote unquote dehumanization. But if we're going to expand dehumanization, just mean like degrading someone, can you, can you really humanize someone and degrade them at the same time? I would argue that in some ways you can superhumanize somebody while degrading them. For instance, when I say Lab is a fucking moron, the reason why she's making these decisions is because she's young and she'll fucking grow out of it or whatever. Like in a way, I could say that she's like permanently stuck on like retard brain and she's never going to get better. But I don't believe that. I think that there's like an age thing that factors into it. I'm trying not to like remove the fact that this person could ever have a different decision or make a different thing. Like, so that's a way of like humanizing and degrading someone at the same time. But I, we just be more, we have to be clear when we say these words because like degrade and dehumanize are all like mean like 50 million different things depending on what you're talking about. And they're not even necessarily wrong depending on how you mean it. Like insulting somebody or degrading somebody isn't necessarily like a bad thing. Like you can insult people, it's fine. Yeah. Um, um, I just want to say I just something think... out of curiosity. Can I just Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay, Dan? Um, I don't know about Lav or Max. Have you guys ever like apologized for the things that you have said or the ways that you have acted? Because I hear you guys talking about like wanting to, or I hear you at least, Lav, talking about wanting to take more accountability and not wanting to like keep running away. But part of that is also when you own up to something, like giving apologies to where it's due. Both apologize so, multiple times. I would say you, both of, Lab probably apologizes even more than Max, but both of them apologize. I think I could be wrong. My criticism would be, I don't give a fuck about your apology that much. Like, Wow, how um, edgy, doesn't care about apologies. Good one, Erudite. Oh, wow, yeah, good job. <laughs> well, the, the thing is like, apologies are easy, like change is difficult, so. Not oh, as easy as Dan's right? mom. So, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. It That's wasn't that says. good or funny. It was, it was like, real good. Like weakest, That's why like, she oh, keeps coming your back. Your mom, oh. <laughs> No, so that's, like, that's, that's like his go-to. That's like yeah, the Sunday exactly. special is like, he's, 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 like your mom. Well, no, for his mom, it's the Saturday special, but you know how it goes. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, on Saturday is the day of rest, so no fucking little... Oh yeah, God, Saturday is the day we do missionary. She doesn't do much work those days, Dan. Hey, hey. Oh my God, Shabbat Shalom. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, not enough drama in here so far, honestly. Um, I tried reaching out to Cherry, but I don't think she's watching right now. Yeah, um, I put an eight-person cap on this room anyway, so she wouldn't be able to get in unless somebody left. Well, I was gonna remove. Well, I'm remove about that to leave. I'm oh. gonna go do. Oh, look at Mrs. Fucking Perfect! Rat. If anything was gonna happen, I'm gonna right, go, go work to out. Then I'm gonna life. go volunteer at my local charity. Um, then I'm gonna yeah. go help sick and disabled people down at the. All old you're showing home. me is that you're just jealous that I touch grass a lot and. Take no, we don't, don't believe you actually love homeless people. You don't do people. any don't of this it. shit. You probably yeah. log off, get your BDSM gear, make a whole bunch of facial abuse porn that's sublimating women in society, and then you come here and you talk about fucking values for people in society. That's what you do. We all know that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. These yes. are actually oh, degrees now, from my BDSM school. True. Well, we can't read what they say, so I mean, it might be bullshit. Exactly. You can't. You're not allowed to. It's very yeah. kinky and not PG-13, so. Well, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. well I'm going to go, you know, feed squirrels and uh, be a perfect Disney princess. So. Bye. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Yeah.